Hello, my name's Adam Forrester. I'm a lecturer at the English Language Centre of the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. It's July 2015, and here's a short update about what I'm up to at the moment. So the main thing I'm doing is leading a project to create a MOOC on the edX platform uh, for launch in October 2015. Our MOOC is about uh, job applications in Asia. It's a two-part MOOC. Part one is about writing good CVs, cover letters, and having an, an appropriate online presence, such as using LinkedIn appropriately. While part two is about job interviews, what you should do before, during, and after a job interview and online interviews. Um, in both parts, we're, we're very interested in the cultural element of job applications because what might be appropriate in the UK or in North America might not be appropriate in Asia. And rather than us telling the participants this is what you should be doing, uh, we'll be looking to find out lots of ideas and information from the participants themselves. We want them to share these ideas through the various social networks that we'll, we will be using in the course. Okay, so our MOOC, uh, English at Work in Asia, um, is set for launch October 2015. Register now. It's open for registration now. Join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's very exciting. Okay, next project I'm involved in is a Blackboard migration project. Uh, the ELC uses Moodle. PolyU uses Blackboard, so over the oh, over last year and over next year, uh, the ELC has been moving courses from Moodle to Blackboard. Um, in summer 2015, um, uh, subjects such as 1012, 1013, and 1014 all use Blackboard for the first time. It went quite smoothly, and uh, we're looking to continue to use those, put those subjects on Blackboard in next academic year. Um, and touch wood, it will continue to go smoothly. Okay, next then. Um, I'm still be co-subject leader for English for University Studies, ELC 101-2-1013. Um, we, we're not going to have major changes to that subject over next year, uh, besides moving from Moodle to Blackboard. And moving to Blackboard has meant that indie work has had to change, but I think it's change for better and we're looking to to make further improvements to indie work over the next uh, year or so as blackboard has um, further improvements um, there are still challenges with eus um, like we went down to a 13 week semester and there's a lot to cover in those 13 weeks so we we want to know want to think about how we can further streamline the course to make it easier to teach and better for students so they can that they can learn more in those 13 weeks okay so that's english for university studies uh finally um i'm still interested in using technology in the teaching to improve the teaching improve the learning make it more fun um so i'm i'm still using tools such as socrative i've been using that for a few years now and it's still great i do recommend it if you've never used it before it's a it's a student response tool they use their mobile phones to answer questions and it's displayed in a, in a graph and it's Students love it. I love it. Dead easy to use. Um, I'm, we're still making a lot of videos. With this video is using something called Video Scribe. We, we use, we're using this, and we're also using Powtoon, which we used last year. And we're still making live videos. Live videos are great fun to make and easy to make as well. Okay, that's it from me. Uh, thanks for listening. Have fun teaching. Bye bye.